What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from wifientrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. As you can see, I'm out here cutting some wood. I'm actually taking a break right quick from uh, what I was doing to shoot this quick video. I want to tell you guys, or share with you guys rather, uh, something that I learned from a friend just the other day. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out, thank you so much for stopping by our page. If this is on Facebook, make sure you follow us on Facebook. If this is on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit, show you different ways you can create an online brand and earn income through that brand. So, as I mentioned before, I wanted to put this video together. I'm on a little break, chopping some firewood. We have a a winter storm coming through as you can see there's snow on the ground which is pretty surprising because again i said in a couple videos i didn't even know it snowed on the island i actually shot some drone footage the other day uh right after it snowed but another snowstorm is coming through so in order to be prepared which i like to talk about a lot preparing for your future out here chopping wood now let me tell you a little something about this wood experience this right here is actually my third time chopping wood in my life, but my third time chopping wood this week. Now, what's interesting about that is, is one, I didn't know how to chop wood. You know, you can see it, I've seen it done, it's pretty straightforward, you know. I, it's not that, but I have attempted before I saw the ax, I'm from the city, you know, we didn't really chop wood. So, I saw the ax, I saw, I had already had tons of wood, but I ran out of, the smaller pieces, what they call kindling. And the kindling is what helps get the fire going, our fireplace going upstairs. And if you don't have any kindling, it's quite challenging to get a fire going. And, and right now I have like these huge logs, right? And you try to put those huge logs in the fireplace, add some paper and so on and so forth to get it going. But without kindling, it's almost impossible to do. So here just the other day, I had a friend over the house, we were hanging out, and my wife asked me to make the fire, and I went to make the fire with the big logs that I had. Start putting paper in, putting paper in, the fire would start, and then it would just die out. And then it would start again, I put more and more paper in, the fire would start, and then it would just die out. And it was like, man, you know, here it is, I have a guest over, and I can't get this fire going, you know? And it was like, hey, I don't know what to do, but I know this gentleman, the guy who was hanging out with us, I said, I know he knows how to get things going. He says, hey, you got a guy named Kendallin? I was like, no. He was like, well, let's go chop some wood and make it. And I thought to myself, yeah, that sounds cool. You know what I mean? But I had tried to chop wood before. I didn't say this to him. I was like, I had tried to chop wood before. I, I really don't know how to do it here at my house and I don't I really don't know how to chop wood and I never done it before. So I was like, yeah, let's let's go and chop go ahead and go down there and do it, you know? And as we came downstairs uh, to outside, I was like, hey, here's the wood, here's the axe. And he's like, uh, alright, let's 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 get it going. And I said, hey, I, I don't know how to do it. I said, can you show me how to do it? He's like, yeah, no problem. I'll show you how to do it. And boom, got down there and showed me how to chop the wood. And, and it was like, I got it now. So I said, let me get a, let me get a swing at it. And what did I do? Grab, grab the axe, grab the log. Whack, whack, whack. Chopping wood, split some beautiful wood like you see over there in the corner. But what the lesson to it for me was, is you have to be willing to ask for help. You have to be willing to ask how to do things you don't know how to do that someone else does. You know what I mean? You can't just keep trying the way that you've been trying and you see it's not working. You can't keep just loading paper into the, to the fireplace if it's not working. You can't keep marketing your business the way you've been marketing it if it's not working. You have to learn a better way of doing it. And that's what I, I, I learned from that experience, you know? I learned that, hey, you know, if I'm willing to ask for help of someone who's done it before, they can show me how to do it. And by them showing me how to do it, now I can provide for my family. 
long term. So here it is. My buddy's been gone for a while now, and I'm still out here following the steps, um, following the lessons that he showed me to take care of my family in this upcoming storm. So I hope that you're doing something to prepare yourself for the upcoming storms. I hope you're out there asking for help from individuals who's are more who are more experienced than you and whatever when whatever it is that you're working on I promise you that if you're willing to ask for help people are willing to help you and that help can can actually protect you and your family for generations to come think about it so i'm gonna leave it there you guys if you guys need help on learning how to start an online business how to get started with blog writing, creating blog posts, getting your message out there, helping you turn your passion, if you need help turning your passion into profits, we're, we're, we're here to assist you in that. We have a community of, community of over 1 million online entrepreneurs. We wanna help you succeed. So by all means, uh, ask for help, ask for assistance, let us show you the way, follow the steps, and you'll protect your family for generations to come. I think my break's over getting kind of cold when you're not chopping wood so i'm gonna go ahead and get back to this until we talk again guys take care and be blessed peace